Genesis 12, 1 through 3 says, And now the Lord said to Abraham, Go forth from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to land where I will show you, and I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will make your name great, and you shall be a blessing, and I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse, and you and all the families of the earth will be blessed. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, Today's reading is Genesis 11 and 12, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, chapters 11 and 12 are an interesting contrast. In chapter 11, that shows the rebellion of mankind. When Noah left the ark, he was told that he and his family were to spread out and repopulate the earth. Instead, they all stayed together, as if they were trying to protect themselves. And because of that, they began to believe that they were all-powerful. Chapter 12 picks up on the last few verses of chapter 11 and introduces the command that God gave to Abram. He tells Abram to leave his current country and move to a country that is completely foreign to him. He's to forsake everything for God's promise. He's to trust God not only for the well-being, but also for his future generations. And at this point, Abraham has no child to carry on his name. So Abraham had to trust God even more to fulfill the promises that he made. Well, Abraham leaves with just his family and Lot to begin this trek to his new home. Now, let's be clear. Abraham's not a poor man. He has servants and livestock, so it's not as if he became a homeless wanderer. If you think about it, he might even be more daunting of a task to leave what he knows because he has great wealth. So, what about us? How do we display our faith? Do we step out and do the things that are challenging to us in God's name? Or to resolve that no matter what we're going to do, we're going to trust God for our entire existence. Do we trust God enough to leave what we have and to move into something that's totally unique in our lives? And these are questions that we have to answer. These are things we need to think about. It is about to become more difficult to live as a believer. In the past two weeks, two airports have refused to allow Chick-fil-A to place a concession in the airport. Chick-fil-A is a company that does not discriminate, but the owners of Chick-fil-A do believe a certain thing about marriage, and all the owners would have to do is deny what they believe, and the company would be allowed to be in the airport. Now, are we ready to make hard choices? <laughs>